So today I wanted to show a way of hosting a fast API application using AWS Lambda. So if you don't know what AWS Lambda is, it's serverless function as a service. So you can have serverless functions running on cloud without the need to manage any servers. So it just executes your code. And fast API is one of the very popular frameworks within Python to build APIs. And as a fan of both fast API and AWS Lambda, I was looking for a way to build fast API applications, but host it on AWS Lambda. So let's look at it. So here is a package called Mangum and you can do pip install Mangum, which will install the Python package through pip. But basically it is AWS Lambda support for ASCII applications. And you can read about this adapter through their documentation. I'll make sure this is linked down below, but let's get started by creating a new folder for our project. I'm naming it fast API Lambda function. Let's CD into it. And now let's create a virtual environment and you can do that by Python dash M VNV, whatever the name of virtual environment folder you want to give. In my case, I'm going with dot V E N V. After the virtual environment is created, let's activate it. So on windows, you can do that by running the activate script. And now we have our virtual environment and the directory ready. So let's open VS code. There we go. So you can see we only have our virtual environment. Let's start by creating main.py. And also to manage our packages, let's create a requirements.txt. Here we'll have fast API and Mangum as the two packages. And now within our main.py, we'll create a basic fast API application. So we'll start by importing both fast API and Mangum. And now we'll create an instance of app using fast API. And the important part is that we need a handler, which will be our Mangum. This is needed for AWS Lambda support. Now let's create a root route where we will respond with a message in JSON saying that, hello, this is, you know, my first fast API app running on AWS Lambda. And that is our basic fast API. Also, there is an ongoing issue with the latest version of fast API. So there is a stack overflow thread on this, but make sure you specify the 0.99 as the version. So I'm going to do that in my requirements.txt. So for fast API, I'm going to specify the version. There we go. And now I can go here in my terminal and install the packages from the requirements.txt. So let's do pip install dash r requirements.txt. This will install the fast API and Mangum to our virtual environment. So now in order to deploy this to Lambda, I'm not gonna test this locally, we'll just test it in the cloud. But in order to deploy this to Lambda, we'll create a zip of all the dependencies along with our main.py. In order to do that, I'm gonna be using the PowerShell command compress archive but you can also use zip if you're not on Windows. So compress archive. So our dependencies are in our virtual environment folder, which is .vnv, lib, site packages. And then I want to use the wildcard star, which will include all of them. And we'll create an AWS Lambda .zip. So as you can see, that zip folder is being created. Now, let's not forget to include main.py. So compress archive main.py this time we'll use the update flag so this means it will just add the main bot the main.py to the already existing zip folder so these two commands have now created our aws lambda.zip now let's head over to our aws console as you can see i am in the lambda service but if you are not you can just do a quick search in the search bar and you can select whatever region is appropriate for you i'm just going to leave it to north california for now let's create a function and i'm going to click on author from scratch let's name this fast api lambda i'm going to use python 3.10 and for the architecture i'm going to go with x86 for the default execution role i'll let it create a new aws lambda role and what I want to do is enable function URL. What this does is it will basically give me an HTTP URL that I can execute the Lambda function from without the need of having an API gateway. For the auth type for our function URL, I have set it to none. 
so that anyone can execute this function on the web. Let's click create function. Now, as you can see under the function URL, I have a link that I'll click and you can see it gives me hello from Lambda. So now this is a default boilerplate function from AWS itself. What you can do is in the code tab on your Lambda function, you can click upload from and it'll allow you to upload the zip file we just created. So I'm gonna click on upload and then I'm gonna go to my fast API Lambda function directory. And as you can see, we have AWS underscore Lambda dot zip. Let's select that, click save. As you can see, it says updating the function and now it has successfully updated the function. The other thing that we need to change is the runtime settings. So as you can see here, the handler is lambda underscore function dot lambda underscore handler. That is not the case with us since we have main.py and within our main.py we have the handler. So let's change that to main.handler. Hit save. And now it'll take a few seconds to update the function. So now if I go to this URL, you can see now we are getting a JSON response saying, hello, this is my first fast API app running on AWS Lambda with Mangum. Okay, so we have our fast API working with AWS Lambda. The other thing I wanted to showcase is yes, Mangum does allow you to have multiple routes that you usually have within a fast API application. Um, it supports it through AWS Lambda too. So if I had another route, let's go with the example that Mangum itself has. So if you look at their documentation, they have uh, created an example endpoint for items and you can query sample items. So if I put slash items slash one, it'll return an item ID of the same integer, which will be one. So let's save this, go back to our terminal. Let's update our archive to include the new main.py. Now let's go back to our AWS console and within our code tab, let's upload the new zip that we just created. So now it's updating the Lambda function. And as you can see, it just successfully did that. So if I just refresh this, our root route will be the same, but if I go to slash items slash one, you can see it returns the item ID one and Q is set to null. Similarly, I can do hundred and it'll update. So there we go. We have a working fast API application running on AWS Lambda, which is the serverless functions as service from AWS. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like and comment for the algorithm, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.